Hey y'all, it's TechM slash K, and we're back with another video. Today we'll be talking about the 2019 MacBook Pro 13 inch with four Thunderbolt 3 port slash USB-C ports. In this model, the processor is a 2.4 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i5. It has eight gigs of DDR3 RAM and Intel Iris Plus graphics 655. The built-in Retina display is a 13.3 inch, 2560 times 1600 resolution. This model also has a touch bar, which is a touch screen on the very top, and also has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And of course, a really good trackpad. So I've been using the 2019 MacBook Pro 13 inch for about a year and in overall it has been pretty great. Using Mac OS, Mojave, as well as new, the new Monterey has been decent for basic tasks such as checking email, watching YouTube videos on the Retina display, and basic web browsing. The Retina display is great to look at in general as it has a 2560 times 1600 resolution, which is around 2K, I believe. So it's great for watching YouTube and pretty decent for gaming as well. In terms of visuals, as you can see on this Valorant gameplay, the butterfly keyboard is decent to type on, but takes some time to get used to. And the touch bar is all right, but I don't find myself using its features that much. And I think I would much prefer just physical buttons like the previous MacBooks. The built-in trackpad is great. It runs really smoothly and is also the best trackpad I've used in a laptop. Moving on to the stereo system, the MacBook Pro speakers are great as well. They produce decent quality sound and is the best laptop speakers I've used to date. But moving on to the ports, there are four USB-C slash Thunderbolt 3 ports. And usually I find myself using one for the charger, one for Dongo, <clears throat> Dongo Life, and also 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Usually I'll connect um, a wireless Logitech MX Master Mouse as well as a Razer mechanical keyboard. So usually there are two USB-C ports left open, but extra is always great. Sometimes I'll use one port for external storage. Lastly, the MacBook Pro's form factor is great. Match found. It's nice and portable, so you can just throw it in your bag and it's not that heavy as it's I think around three pounds. Next we'll be talking about the webcam. I think the webcam is usable however it's my iPhone camera might be better. In terms of battery life the MacBook Pro could at least last a couple hours but if you're video editing or gaming you probably should put on the charger. So let's touch on video editing. The MacBook Pro 13 inch can handle video editing with iMovie, which is what I use to edit this video. It um, exports surprisingly fast for videos. So it's good for a basic user. So let's move on to gaming. So this is the perspective of a casual gamer. So I've been playing Valorant on the MacBook Pro and I would say it runs pretty smoothly on low settings as you could see from the gameplay on the previous footage. It's definitely playable. However, I wouldn't suggest getting this just for gaming. In terms of recording for gaming, as you can see in this footage, recording gameplay is extremely laggy and it doesn't really work well. So if you're trying to stream, you should probably look elsewhere. So overall, I would say the MacBook Pro 13 inch is worth it for someone looking for a device 
to do basic tasks as well as do some video editing as it exports pretty fast. And if you play games casually, then it will run the games or it will run games like Valorant on low settings pretty smoothly. What are your thoughts? Let us know down in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. MK, we out.